ja. Okay, okay, I get. We cannot even hit a wall. Hello, who is speaking? Hi, Miss Proof. This is Mr. Collins, chief of the detective agency. Oh, hello, sir. Who are you today? I'm fine, but we have a problem. What problem? A woman called us last night to tell us that her husband was dead. The crime scene is intact. Wait a second. You want me? I booze it for him? Yes, that's pretty much it. But I beg you, I know you prefer looking after other things, but I really need you. Okay, <laughs> if it's an emergency, I'm coming, I'm coming very soon. Yeah, it's here. Miss Proof, I present Miss Morley, wife of the victim. Hi, sir. Well, I think I'll let you talk. Thank you. Hello, Detective Proof. Thank you for your help. My pleasure. So, you must tell me everything in detail. husband yesterday around 7 45 p.m. we had to eat at La Chandelle restaurant to celebrate my Christmas bag but <laughs> when I arrived I learned it, it was closed ago a week ago because it was torched I told my husband that I would arrive uh, uh, late so that he could start dinner without me when I arrived around 8 p.m., he was dead. <laughs> mm. Did some help enter it between 7.30 p.m. and 8 p.m. in your, ho in your house? Um, no, otherwise my servants would have warned me. Yes, of course. So what do we do now? The first thing to do is to go to the crimson and tuck the clothes. Take me to your house. Hmm. I think that we can take a murder weapon. Why? Because there is no blood in the, that room. Oh, yes, of course. So, what do you think that is? Mm. I cannot say for sure, but it's definitely a strangulation or poisoning. But we have it seen the same thing as him, is not it? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? Oh, that. It was just a cake that Mr. Molly received yesterday morning. Okay. Who does this come from? Don't know. I will have that and analyze it. Your opinion, 
Who could blame your husband? Hmm, I don't know. He had no real enemy, but I only see three people. Our cook, Miss Adia, his ex-barber, Miss Mr. Harris, or his ex-wife, Mrs. Smith. But I'm not sure. Hmm, what is your relationship with the three? I have an excellent relationship with the three of them. Well, I think we have nothing more to do here. Well, pick up your cock. Why? But for example, history? Oh, but do I have to come? Um, not now. No, not now. I will come looking for you if I need information. You say here? Yeah? Nisaitia? 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 What are you doing here? Go away, go away! Okay, hello Miss Aitia. If you don't mind, I would like to ask you some questions to clarify the matter of the deed of Mr. Norway. Yes, it bothers me. Can you not see I'm busy? But I, but I believe I have no choice. Go ahead, ask me your stupid question. Uh, okay. First question. Do you have an idea who, who, of who might want to get right of Mr. Molly? Um, not really. But hey, not that I have no heart, but there are probably a lot of people who could blame him. Uh, frankly, this man annoys me. He is or rather he was so hard. I could not make something for him without he say there is a problem. The chicken is to this, the chicken is to that, nya nya nya. Yeah. Because you came around some time ago, I'd say about a week. Okay, you're done with your question or it take more time. This is not cooperation! You have forced me! Hello, miss. Come in if you want a new hairstyle. Um, no, it's not for that. Then disappear! Can you not see I'm busy? What else? What are you still standing in front of the entrance for? Get out of here, I have clients waiting for me. I am completely overwhelmed, like yesterday, by the way. And you, what do you do in your life besides bothering bossy people, huh? <laughs> I am a detective, and now I am the mother of Mr. Murray, if you want to know. So, if you will. Oh, you have to say it before. <laughs> no, I'm in a hurry. I have to ask you some question. Do you really think I could be involved in that dark matter? Mamma mia! Uh, I have to explore all the possibilities, sorry. Okay, um, who has your relationship with Mr. Norway? Bad. This man was so difficult. He always found something to say. This haircut is too short, too long, nya nya nya. I see. Have you any idea of the person who might want to get rid of him? No, but I am not devoid of good feelings. But frankly, there are so many people who would have a reason to blame him. 
touch your robe. But I understand. Okay, one last time. Where were you yesterday between 7.45 p.m. and 8 p.m.? I was here. Did I say that? That I was overwhelmed all day? I hope not. So, he, mm, thank you for your information. This will help me a lot.